Hello my soccer universe, as you can see winter has come to Austria and our last Bundesliga trip to the stadium and that's the last one for the year for the entire family, we only have a Europa League home game. That was a snow fest, par excellence and in the end I, when we walked walk to the stadium you know I decided yeah I better get a last cat because uh, the weather was going crazy. Unfortunately I also have to say and we'll, I'll talk about the game later on that it was snowing then so heavily that my um, little daughter and my wife were really frozen, although everyone was well packed. I mean, you got your ski pants out and all that kind of stuff. But they were so frozen that at halftime I said, can we please go home? And I said, okay, if we leave right after the whistle, um, we actually will make it home to watch the second half. Yeah, we missed only 15 minutes or so where nothing happened. And yeah, last got another win. It was not a pretty win, but it was a win nonetheless. And I'm quite happy with that. Uh, they continued a great home form. Uh, so far, only two teams have beaten Lask in a new stadium. And those teams are Salzburg twice in the last season and Liverpool. That's a pretty amazing statistic, I gotta got say. And also only having conceded two goals at home also speaks volumes uh, as well. So the home form of Lask is really good. The away form needs to improve for sure. However, the big talking point ahead of this round and you know over the international break, yes, the Austrian national team was doing, doing great. But when we just look, look at the league is that we had two coaches fired. Lustenau let go of uh, Markus Mada, who had been actually their long-time coach. And I really thought this is odd that they let him go because I remember him saying last uh, year that this is actually his dream job. So kind of, yeah, this would be a guy that is, has always been there. And then also a little bit, uh, not unexpectedly, because everyone was already talking about it. But I'm not sure how justified it was. Rapid let go of... Zoran Barisic, and I said it already in my last video, it is not necessarily the coach's fault that the players are not scoring. And again, and you will see it when we see the standings uh, uh, pulled uh, through in, when, when I review the games, Rapid has scored, I think, the second most goals in the league. They have the third best goal difference. And they're only sitting in seventh place as far as I can tell. And that means that when they get wins, they got it really big. And there were a few big wins at the beginning of the season. But then uh, they had a lengthy stretch where they even didn't win at home. So kind of the opposite of Lusk and conceding goals are unnecessary and not, and especially not converting their many chances. The new uh, coach is Robert Klaus, a German who was formerly coach of Nuremberg. So uh, that's going to be an interesting appointment. He has a little bit of a Red Bull background. Um, Maybe, maybe for once, Rapid will decide, okay, we hire a coach, we have a philosophy, and if that happens, then actually I think Rapid will be dangerous, but there's a whole lot of things that have to change at Rapid. That much is for sure. But yeah, I would say we'll uh, jump into the games. I first want to talk about the last game. I already gave you the scene. It was kind of a snowy weather against an uh, opponent in uh, Wattens. And I made the video on Wattens. If you want to know a little, little bit more on the background, it's actually quite an interesting story. Um, against a team that is, will always be nasty to play against because they, they, they are really tight, they are physically um, and they are very good in the transition game. And that's exactly how it panned out to be. Uh, and as long as there was no snow, I think Lask had actually good control of the game, uh, was stable. However, Wattens did have their chances as well. I mean, the first chance maybe fell to Lask, but Wattens had also a pretty good chance uh, where Laval had to stretch himself in the 14th minute. It was kind of almost a nothing uh, chance that uh, the ball came in. Ljubicic with his head falls to Schul, and you can see in the re replay how he separates himself from the two defenders that were actually on him, and suddenly he's free. And the ball falls on his feet and out of there between the legs, legs of the goalie. It's 1-0 Lusk. Um, right thereafter, Wattens had again two good, good chances. But I thought that Lusk had really good, 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 good control of, of the game. Um, and it was a really intensive game, especially for the first 30 minutes. The problem is when the snow came. Then it became a long ball game. And that's where Lusk uh, kind of lost a little bit the control of the game. On the other side... Um, Wattens also didn't create all that much. However, in the sec second half, um, I think if there were good chances, they all fell to Wattens. Wattens had more shots and more shots on goal. They had uh, two pretty big chances in the second half, which we all saw then on TV. 
I'm a little bit sad about it, but I think it was the right uh, because I don't we just went through a bout of uh, sickness, so it was uh, better to not have the family sick again. Uh, but also Lask brought on Michal, who had his 350th game for Lask, uh, and he also had a pretty good chance. Lask seed out, 1-0 win again, and then I think a remarkable scenes, the Lask fans were actually celebrating Peter Michal, who is becoming a, a Lask legend, if you like. And he was then there in the stands, um, leading the chance. And I thought this was a pretty nice scene. I pro This is probably something, since we were sitting on the other side, I probably would not have seen because we would have already been on our way home. So that was actually good that we were sitting in front of the TV. Okay. Enough of this loser right here. But it was an interesting, interesting atmosphere for sure. Uh, parallel, the other the, uh, top teams in Austria have all been playing. Uh, Sturm Graz also had a rocky first half against Lustenau at home, uh, but in the second, second half ended up winning 2-0. Uh, it has, has to be said, it was also helped by a, a yellow-red that was kind of nitpicky, I gotta say, for Lustenau. So uh, at the at one of one nil, but Lusna under the new leadership, they don't have hired a new uh, coach yet. Uh, looked actually not that bad. And Salzburg, honestly, they should have been down two nil against Hartberg at the half. Um, Hartberg took an early lead, had a really good chance through Freezer, former Lask player, whose shot was saved by a goalish Lager, former Lask player. They actually were teammates. Uh, and then just before the half, Radkov makes it 1-1, and then Oskar Gloch uh, uses a, you know, the defense was unsourced, so then he uses this to make it 2-1. Hartberg could equalize again, but Salzburg were the pressing, and in the end, get the winner. Today, we had actually a pretty huge game between Wolfsburg and Austria Vienna, uh, who, who will make it in the, into the top six, and it's Wolfsburg, who win and break the... Um, uh, the no goal conceded streak from Austria Vienna. The goal that was a slightly contentious because leading up the goal was a throw in that should have gone for Austria Vienna, but uh, there was enough time to play. Austria could have cleared two or three times before the ball went in and Kennedy, Canadian, scored the goal. So it's not the triple B up front that scores, but uh, this, this, this time it was a defender. And in the other game, Klagenfurt, uh, Scotsman and Andy Irving, um, Irvine. Uh, pulling the strings, he's, he, he's probably among the better players of, of the league, so much so that West Ham will have even his eyes on, on him. He really created a nice uh, winning goal for Altach, uh, for uh, Klagenfurt against Altach. Altach actually, after a good start, are also kind of petering out. There's a pretty big game coming up towards the end of this week. And then it was the first time under the new Rapid coach against Blau Weiss Lind, coming off the Derby win. In any case, Blau Weiss kept it tight. Rapid created, tried to create, but you know, again, the punch forward was a little bit missing, but you know, they tried. It could have worked that you get out with a draw for Blauweiss Linz, but in, in, in the end, it's a deflected shot that goes in from Grull, uh, Grull, who is actually heavily rumored to leave Rapid relatively soon. But I think, uh, while I think the tactic could have worked, I think Rapid overall was probably the deserved winner in that game. Uh, which means that they have now overtaken Austria, Austria Vienna sitting now in 7th. The two Vienna teams are 7th and 8th. Wolfsburg now holding a little bit the cards in moving up to the top 6. And it might be that the Vienna teams are not making it. Although I think at least one of them will kind of make it. But if I look at uh, Klagenfurt, Wolfsburg, Rapid, Austria, those are the teams. Uh, it's uh, you know either two, Kla two Kärnten teams or two Vienna teams. And the Kärnten teams are really, really, really well this season and even the expected standings you have seen it uh a road to road rooting through we saw that uh now it's the two vienna teams are not in the top six um lots of time to games to to replace build but this is a very interesting trend i would have to say um if we look at the fixtures of the next round uh lask have to play in the game of of the round if, if, if you like uh, against Aust austria Vienna after a trip to enfield so i'm not i don't really expect uh, a win there, but hey, maybe if maybe with high uh, feelings, 
there's a chance. Uh, it is a game that uh, Lask have been performing relatively well there in Vienna, uh, although I, I think a win has also been uh, a while ago. We have also a very interesting one between Salzburg and Wolfsburg already early on. Then Klagenfurt against Hart. Hartberg also has big Im Im implications for the table. And then we have, of course, the Lustenau Derby as well. Uh, Wattens actually think they can get maybe something against Rapid. So yeah, that was it from me for the Bundesliga. Very snowy video, but you know, I want to show off my new hat as well. This will be now my companion because not only do we have three more games, including a Europa uh, game in Austria being played, so one more that they have, we have to go. But after the winter break is very, very short. It starts first weekend uh, of February already with a cup round. I definitely will need the hat then. Because it gets, tends to get really, really cold around here. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.